Remember, folks, I'm just a Muppet in a chair. Don't take me seriously. Good evening, and welcome back to another edition of Reacting to Friday Night Dinner. I don't know why I'm talking like this. <laughs> I thought you were just going to stop reacting. We're reacting. We're reacting. Welcome to reacting. Reacting. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Boomerites are reacting. Please tune in soon. I can only do that for so long. Otherwise, my voice dies. Is the dog okay? I don't know. Oh. oh did you just move a pillow? Yeah. Make yourself at home, girl. Jeez. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, this one is called The Funeral. Oh, no. So, uh, before we get going, though, I, I'm i feeling better today. Thanks to Only Fools and Horses. Yeah. Yeah. I watched yeah. an Only Fools and Horses today. Some people think I don't watch them, but I they're not subscribed to the Patreon, so they don't see them. There's, uh, that's what I created the Patreon for, but uh, the I other thing... I was about to punch you. Why? <laughs> because you were like, I feel better thanks to Only... And I thought you were going to say OnlyFans. OnlyFans? And I was like, why did that make you feel better? What, you think I'm wanking Only... while you're gone? Don't say that. I was like, Only Fools and Horses is fine. Yeah. But really, uh, there's this show that I'm watching and doing reactions to. It's called Plebs. Plebs? And judging from what Plebs. I've seen, yeah. it's you would love it. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. It's one Why, of those it shows. It, it's like, maybe it's not the best description, but it, it's like kind of like the in-betweeners, but set in Rome. Okay. Oh, I think you did tell me yeah. about this. Yeah. So, I'm I, I, th I need you to check it out. So okay. the next time, after this one or the next time I get you down, we got to watch Plebs. I think yeah, it's yeah. it'd be one of your favorite shows instantly, yeah. I think. Yeah. But, uh, all right, well, let's get into Friday Night let's Dinner. What's going on with this the one's called The Funeral. Uh, I hope nobody really important dies. Because mm -mm. uh, these characters are great. So let's uh, get into it. Remember to like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want. And we'll see you in there. It's, it's i got to turn this. Because I feel like I'm... There we go. That's better. All right, here we go. Nice. Nice sound. Sounds like a goose. Seriously, I'm not missing a Grand Prix. Yeah, maybe you could say that another 5,000 times. Ah, the Grand Prix. Jim? Is that the one with the, the cars or the, or the horses? What are you doing here? We're just having our little walk, aren't we, Wilson? In our drive. Hmm? Well, goodbye then. <laughs> Checking for meat. Meat? Yes, Wilson's on a no meat diet at the moment, so we have to be very careful, don't we, Wilson? Why is the dog on a no He's meat diet? He's ravenous. Um, we're not carrying any meat on us, Jim. Yeah, not today. It's good. All clear. Thanks, bye. Enjoy the horses. You know, I've just noticed. Oh, thank you. Thank yep. you, Jane. <laughs> um, this is like the only other episode, other than the wedding episode, I think, where yeah. we saw them out during the day. Oh, yeah, you're it's right. It's daytime. Yeah, Usually they usually come over at yeah. night, so maybe it's not Friday. Or maybe it's early Friday. Friday yeah, day. Knows. Jane, relax. No one's here. You're okay. <laughs> I guess she's just looking over her shoulder, Barbie. She's such a guard dog. She is. Come on, Wilson. Me? Yeah, there is no safe. way I'm missing the Grand Prix. Ugh. Oh, it's your her. Keys. Oh, hello. Horrible grandma. If you oh, had your grandma. keys, then your poor parents wouldn't have to keep trudging to the door. Okay. May we come in? She looks like she's killed people. Wipe your feet. Yeah, she does. Dirty boys. The pigs are here. Hi, pigs. Hi, Hi Mom. You look nice. Aww. Why can't it be her funeral today? Mm. Yeah. I'm sure it can be arranged. Actually, I did see a large rock out there. Lots of small ones would do. Just had a good sniffing from Jim. You what? Where's Dad? Writing his speech. Dad's doing a speech. Which thick idiot had that idea? My beloved brother passes away. The least oh. your father can do is to get off his backside and say a few words. Of course, Cynthia. Everything OK now? The coffee's cold. You said you didn't want it too hot. Neither did I want it too cold. I'll pour you a new one, then. Well, it won't pop. 
for itself. What happened to that? It fell over. It fell over or it was pushed over? That's what I'd like to know. Well, enjoy. Well, sit down. OK. Horrible. Grandma. She's not a fun grandma. Well, aren't you going to say anything? Sorry, Uncle Saul died. Oh, Saul was a wonderful man. Everybody loved him. Hated him. The thing is, he ate too much, and in the end, it killed him. His rectum seized up, and his bowels imploded. Ugh. That doesn't sound fun. Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah. Dad, how's the speech, Mr Churchill? Pillock. Uh, sorry, Mum, where was Uncle Saul born again? Edinburgh? London. He was a baker? Taylor. <laughs> Wife called Jean. He never married. And it's facts, eh, Dad? I'm going to the shed. Bodes well. Leading hell. <laughs> he was born in Edinburgh, no, London. He doesn't even <laughs> two, know him. Two completely different countries. <laughs> same Part of the same political union. Yeah. Like, <laughs> one's in Scotland, one's in England. That's, that's, uh, I don't know. I thought it was really funny. I don't funny. think he knows Sorry. his uncle very well. Here we are. Dad Two completely okay. different accents. He just found his cultures. cyanide pills. I want to go to Edinburgh. Too hot. You're welcome. Maybe we should get going. Yeah. But I haven't had my hair done yet. Your hair. You know what hair is, don't you? But the funeral starts at 10. Horrible. Grandma. Uh, no, it's at 12. You said 10. Did I? But that means I'm going to miss Mrs. the... Mrs. Goodman, your personal stylist awaits. Hi, boys. Bowsy well, bow. Here. Oh, well, thank you, Cynthia. It's not for you. I want you to carry it, stupid woman. Hey. Deep breath. Can we get you a rock? Huh? Hurry up, Valerie. Oh, she'll be all right. Inside. Ooh. Charlie, look serious. What? Why did you tell us the funeral was at 10? Because I wanted you to help with... Bugger tits. Yes, bugger tits. Boys, do you think she pushed our cabinet over? But it's the Monaco Grand Prix! Is it? Who's playing? Excellent. No one's playing. It's the Grand Prix. I never miss the Grand Prix. Oh, grow up, Johnny. It's your great uncle's funeral. So? I hardly knew the guy. What? You remember Uncle Saul. Large... Gentlemen. Large elephant. Adam. Mum, he was a knobhead. Johnny. He was a knobhead. Stop it. He was family. A family knobhead. Oh, sorry, everyone. <laughs> you all right, love? Could you get me a rock? Oh, jeez. Don't be I this difficult if anybody's... of a person. Yeah, well, I wonder if anything, anybody's going to do anything about it. They should. These are some wacky I'd characters. I'd be like, why are you be mean? Would you give a little slap? Yeah, I think she needs a little slap. Oh, yeah? A little slap. You're a grandmother slapper. <laughs> well... Shame on you. <laughs> Grandma's need to be told what to do sometimes, too. Uh, uh, hi, Dad. Fuck? Wish it was my mother they were burying. What are you doing? Gosh. Sitting in the shed. Hmm. I think he means why have you got a cloth on your face? I did mean that. Keeps out the light. Right. Also, <sighs> smells nice. Mmm, grubby. Oh. <sighs> Shouldn't you be writing your speech? Oh, I don't know what to say about the bloody man. Who's making me miss the Grand Prix? Really? <sighs> Who's playing? Oh, I've hardly <laughs> written a thing. What have you written? He liked potatoes. It's a start. And most breads. There's your middle. All you need now is the end. <laughs> Crannies. Yeah. Just been reading his medical report. Well, there's your speech. Makes you think, though. I mean, one minute you're having your sandwich, the next your ass blows up. <laughs> yeah. Maybe don't say that. I tell you, this family and its bottoms. All that. And I've got to carry his bloody coffin. Ah, you're carrying his coffin. Oh, oh bad luck, Dad. Might as well be carrying a bus. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you're laughing. You're carrying it with me. What? Oh, oh. Yep, coffin bearers. That mm. creeps me out a little bit. Smelly. Like, I don't want to carry a coffin. There's a dead person, like, <clears throat> right there. You've never been a pallbearer? No, have you? <clears throat> oh, yeah. Twice. Really? Three times. Really? Yeah. I've only... My uncle, my grandfather, and, uh... My grandmother. No. My, um... Thankfully, my other grandmother chose to be, uh... Cremated. So did one of my grandmothers. But my grandfathers died way before I was born. 
So I've never really been to like. That sounded Seattle, really cold. You know? I'm actually <laughs> like, thankfully, I didn't have to carry her fat ass. No. Like no. <laughs> wow! I can't believe that came out of my mouth. It's okay. It's late. Oh. <laughs> uh. But. I don't know. I'd be scared. If there is an afterlife it. and she's listening, Grandma, I'm sorry. I'd be scared I'm going to drop it. Like, I don't know. I feel like that's a lot of pressure. No, be, well, be, there's usually... I mean, there's not like a set number, but usually there was around eight of us okay. doing it. So, and usually if uh, there's like whoever's directing the funeral, like we'll send mm-hmm. one or two people to help you out or something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to be in a casket ever. Well, that's that's life. No. I've told you I want to be a tree. I want to be planted under a tree. No casket. Sounds like you want to be a tree. <laughs> yeah, I want to be a tree. Use my ashes for soil and put it up a tree. I don't want what to if, be in a casket. What if, how about this? What if uh, you become a tree? And some Paul Bunyan-like guy comes through with an axe and just chops you down and takes a shit down your trunk. It's it's fine. It's nature. I won't know. I just don't want to... Let's continue. I want to be a tree. Uh, Mum, it's sinister. It's not sinister. What? Carrying a dead body is not sinister. Don't be silly. It's in a box. A dead body in a box. That's not sinister. That is definitely sinister. Oh. How are we getting on in here? Jacqueline, will you tell this woman to stop scraping my skull? And Jacqueline, will you get me a gin and tonic? Um, We're no tonic. Right. Oh, dear. OK, we'll carry his coffin. But that is the last coffin we ever carry. What? Yeah, the last one. Apart from mine, obviously. Sorry. Sorry. When I die, you carry my coffin. Huh? No way! What? You won't carry your mother's coffin to her grave? Because that's not sinister at all, is it? What? Dead mum in box? Well, clearly asking my own two sons to carry their mother's body is too much to ask. It is quite a lot to ask. <gasps> unbelievable. We're unbelievable. Unbelievable! Uh... This is the last thing I'm going to say about uh, carrying cop One, because you have so many people helping you. Mm-hmm. And doing it with you, it, it's pretty pretty easy. Okay. And then two, uh, I always considered being a pallbearer like like an honor. Because yeah. Because it means like you're one of if there's eight pallbearers, it means you're one of the eight closest people to yeah, this person. Yeah, that's true. So, it's it's not <laughs> they make it seem to be like a burden, and I did with that grandmother <laughs> comment. You're like, oh, how dare God, she make me she, care? Yeah. Yeah, but. Uh, I was joking, of course, but um, yeah, it's it's it, always in my view. I always considered it to be an honor. It means you were the close to that yeah. person. Because I went. To Not just little... anybody can be a pallbearer. Our you know? remember our chef who passed away because he got leukemia. Yes. Um, I went to his funeral and it was his brothers. Yeah. Cause he had like eight, like six brothers. It was his brothers who carried. Yeah. It. That was sad. That was really that sad. That was really sad. Have you injured your brain or something? I can't believe you are literally refusing to carry my body. All right, OK, we'll carry it. Thank you. As long as you die in the next five minutes. Starting now. <laughs> Is 17 words enough for a speech? Martin, <laughs> the boys are saying they won't carry my coffin. Well, they're not carrying your coffin. They're carrying Uncle Saul's coffin. I mean for my funeral, you idiot. They won't carry my body. Tell them. Well, you'll carry your mother's body. Thank you. Just make sure you wash your hands afterwards. <laughs> well, I'll be very angry. He's a madman. He's crazy. I'm going to become him. You are. I, I already do that. Not to drink water, but to, like, uh, after I brush my teeth, I'll do that. Spit it out. Yeah. You've seen me do it. Yeah. What does it bother you? Do I have to change that behavior now? No, most men do that. Okay. Thank you. You You're don't welcome. carry me. Um, I don't... Even though there's, like, we have cups right there that you can fill with water. Nonsense. You can use a hand. Do it the barbarian way. 
think you'll know. Oh, I was going to make a barbarian noise, but I, I don't What's know. What's a barbarian noise? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. Thank you. Try it a little, a little more in the diaphragm. Bring it out. Come on. <laughs> I'm going to laugh now. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it's not okay. <laughs> See, now I can't stop laughing. I love it when you have your... They love it when you have your laughing spells, too. Yeah, yeah, it's cute. All right. Oh, yeah? I'll be watching you. <sighs> what? You wouldn't want your own mother watching over you when she's gone? Come on, help her. Martin, can you please stop drinking from that bloody tap? You sound like an ox. Thirsty. <laughs> well, it's obvious I mean nothing to you. Not nothing, but... Right. Shed. 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 Jim. Hello. What the hell are you doing there? We're just doing walkies, aren't we? We'll... What, down the side of our house? Mm-hmm. Jim, we're really quite busy. Yes, of course, Jack. You look nice in, in, in black. Uh, Come on, Wilson. Jim? What are you? Just checking for meat? Just checking for meat. Meat? Yes, Wilson's on a no-meat diet. Aren't you lovely? He's ravenous. Jim, we're kind of going to a funeral oh. today, so... A funeral? Oh, dear. Who died? Uh, my uncle, Jim. Well, your uncle, Jim. What? Well, I am sorry, Martin. And where will you be putting the corpse? The corpse? The carcass? Um, oh, the usual place. In the mud? Um, the ground. Ground. He's been buried at the cemetery. Yeah. Yes, of course. And is that the normal one or the Jewish one? The Jewish one. Ah, Shalom. Oh my God. Shalom. Uh, well, thanks, Jim. Um, I have to finish my speech, so. Ah, a speech. To be or not to be—that is the question. A horse. A horse. My king, Romeo. Romeo. <laughs> is, is, is this a dagger which I? Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me That's your. That is it. Shakespeare, in a very small nutshell, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Jim has perfected it. He's <laughs> using all the... Quoting all the famous stuff from... All the big Shakespeare plays incorrectly. I like Shakespeare. Do you? woman can yeah. shove her head make right up her ass. What's your favorite Shakespeare play? Make that. Really? That's yeah. a good choice. I really like that That's a one. good choice. I always liked, um, Julius Caesar. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I was a theater kid. I'm a sucker for Roman stuff, when though, I so I think younger. I'm biased. If I hit, can't pick that one, it would probably be Othello. Yeah. What is it called again? Othello. Uh, Othello. Uh, <laughs> Othello. <laughs> Othello. I can't say, I don't want to say Othello. A fellow. Yeah. A fellow with a bottle moth cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of your best moments on the channel, the bottle moth cocktail. That's what I thought it was. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> it's a Molotov cocktail. What is a Molotov? It was a person. Who put fire in a bottle Sergei and Sergey Molotov. It? Who lit a rag on fire? I don't know why they... I, I actually don't know why they named it after him. I don't think he invented it. It was... I, I don't know. I don't I can't remember <laughs> like what the story is. But I, but I know it's a person named Molotov. <laughs> I like bottle off cocktail better. I said Sergei, Sergei Molotov, like... Because uh, he was the one that brokered the... Uh, Peace agreement, the, the non-aggression pact between Nazi Germany and the Soviet Union, I think. With the bot, with I feel like my history is all tail? fucked up, and I need to start taking courses again because I'm starting. I, I like say things sometimes, and I think I'm right, and then somebody's yeah. like, "You fucking idiot! It's not like that. <laughs> this is these are the facts here," and I'm like, "Oh shit!" It's been a while since I feel like I've had a history class. So it's been a really long time since you've had a history class. 
Let's yeah. go take a history class together. Sure, why not? Yeah. You mustn't let it get to you, love. But why would she say such things? Why would she call me a prostitute? I'm not a prostitute, am I? Of course you're not a prostitute. She said I was. Boys, tell your auntie she's not a prostitute. <laughs> auntie, auntie, you're, you're not, not a, a prostitute. prostitute. Thank you, boys. Oh, my God. Listen to this. Did you know, in the year Uncle Saul was born, they erected the very first national grid pylon? Really? Oh. Well, that's one for the speech. Don't worry, it's in. Did you talk to her then? Who? Oh. Your mother. My mother? Yes. You were going to tell her what a rude, bloody cow she was, remember? Oh, yes, I remember. Well? Well, I was going to. And? And then I didn't. <laughs> Who would have guessed? <laughs> Martin, where's that cup of tea? Mum. What? I... I'll go get it for you. What a man. Well, Valerie, are you going to finish my hair or what? Uh, Valerie's not speaking to you at the moment, Cynthia. I see. Neither am I. Right. May I ask whose car keys are these? Uh, mine? Why? Then I shall be waiting on the back seat for you. What? Where are we going? Nowhere. I think she just wants you to feel her tits. <laughs> <laughs> Your grandma, sir. That was the best thing Johnny ever said. <laughs> that was by far the best thing Johnny ever said. Oh my god, that was fucking hilarious. Oh, I damn near fucking passed okay? out. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> she loved it. Made her feel better. What? Where are we going? Nowhere. I think she just wants you to feel her tits. Jonathan. She's also been drinking. Oh, I remember she about she that. wanted a gin and tonic with no tonic. Oh, like, that's gonna be me the first time I drink. <laughs> After the baby. Right, we're here now, so. How your mother can be friends with that hysterical woman, I shall never know. Um, do you want to get out? She's obviously got mental problems. Do you want to get out? It's clearly, Sweet. menopausal. How sweet. Maybe get out. Right, I'm getting out now. I shall be twenty minutes. Minutes. Truck runs her over. Building collapses on her. Oh, she lives. Shame. Right, the Grand Prix. Oh. Great. You know it doesn't work. Could you possibly have a shittier car? Could you possibly have a shittier face? Oh! Animal! Right, I'm on my Where phone. Go How can you watch all those cars go round and round? Night, night, pass face. Might as well be watching traffic. Ah, oh, of course. No signal in the crap mobile. Right. Where are you going? A pub. They'll have a screen. A pub? Yeah, we won't be long. Uh, no. We won't. Huh? Start the car. That was quick. I said, start the car. What? What happened? All I said was, I didn't want them to make me look like all the other prostitutes in there. Well, the good old prostitutes. And they refused to do my hair. You don't say. Come on. So... Yes, dear. There was, uh, when I went and got mm. my nails done, um, there was a... I'm trying to think of a nice way to say this. There was a evil grandma getting her nails done. Oh, really? Tell yes. me more. She didn't... She, like, sat across from me. And she sat down, and as soon as she sat down, I heard her talking to, like, some lady she was with. And she was like, last time we came here, they refused to do my nails. I hope they find someone who's a little smarter this time. And I was like, oh, this is going to be interesting. So then a lady came over, and she was like, hi, I'm Kim, or whatever her name is. I'm going to do your nails. These ladies are from um, Vietnam, so they have accents. They speak perfectly clear English, but they have accents. And she just kept saying, like, what did you say? What did you say? I don't speak Chinese. And I was like, oh, my gosh. And the lady was like, I'm speaking English to you. And then she was like, I need you to file my nails. File. And she's like, 
okay, file. Like she was trying to pretend to be dumb because she was just over this lady. So she's following her nails and she was like, not like that. And then she took out an article out of her purse on how to properly file nails and gave it to her. And the lady was like, oh, I can't read English. And she was like, well, this is made by doctors on how to properly file nails. And the lady was like, ma'am, I've been doing this for 30 years. Like, I'm going to file your nails the way I'm, yeah. I've been doing it for 30 years. And the lady said, well, then if you're not going to do it like this article, I don't want you to do my nails. And then she put her, like, shoes back on and You know, every left. time you tell me one of these stories, I just want to go outside of my house and slap the living shit out of people. But, like, why was she so mean? And don't assume where someone's from because that lady is not Chinese. And she's like... Do you guys speak anything but Chinese? I'm like, they don't even speak Chinese. Right. But it's just hilarious. Like, you know, it's, it, it, people are so entitled, as, especially here in this country, man. And like, it's if like, that's how you want your nails filed. You do it or have your the lady you were with, the CNA lady yeah. or whatever, do it. But it's like, remember uh, when we were, we got the, what's the thing called? The 3D baby imaging. Yeah. Yeah, stuff. the ultrasound. And, and that's the same day we found out whether that the was baby was going to be a girl. boy or a girl. Yeah. We found out it's a girl. And the lady said, uh, <clears throat> I've been doing this for 40 years. Uh, yeah, because she never was like, once. you're probably going to have people be like, oh, you never know. She was like, I know. It's a girl. Because, yeah, I'm sure yeah. a bunch of people are and like. And she told, and she was telling stories like people come in and they she tells them if it's a boy or a girl. And they don't like the answer. So they're yeah. like, well, I'm going to get a second opinion from uh, Miss Cleo or whatever the yeah. fuck. And it's like, yeah, just go, just walk into uh, Tesla, go straight up to the top and tell Elon Musk how the rocket is going to get to Mars. Yeah. See how well that goes for you. You know, just people need well, to learn to shut the fuck up. She's definitely a girl because we had to do the 20 week ultrasound. And yeah. She's a girl. It just, it, it astounds me but that, yeah, that I'm people like, do that. But yeah, I'm like, you're the doctor. I'm going to like trust you. It's astounding to me. And it happens a lot here. I go to get a sandwich at Subway and the person behind the uh, table mm-hmm. is, or, or not behind the desk, but the, but the person like screaming at the person who's making sandwiches. Yeah. It's like the easiest thing to do in the world and he's acting like it's fucking rocket size. No, you put this here and this little thingamajig goes on top of the pepper. Like, shut I up. I know, like I had a table and... I was telling, I was like, hi, welcome to blah, blah, blah. My name's Callie. I'm taking care of you. And I I was like, oh, have we been here before? And they were like, yeah. So I was like, do you have a blah, blah, blah card? And then I was like, told them about the two for one drinks. And she's like, I've been here before. I know the drinks are two for one. I'm like, I don't know. Like, and also I have to say the same thing to every table. So it's going to just come out. Yeah. Just say thank you. Why do you have to be grouchy about it? Right. Sorry. We went into the, uh. Complaint department about complainers. Yeah, I don't, about like, complainers. I don't like when people... I don't like grouchy old ladies or grouchy... There's grouchy 20-year-olds. I just don't like people that go out and they, like, want a problem. Yeah. It's Can't it's, stand yeah. that. Unfortunately, a large glass cabinet fell over just as I was leaving. It smashed everywhere. Yeah, see, she knocked it over. Not nice. Oh, here come the prostitutes. <laughs> Oh, oh, whoa, no. what is this? Do you understand the seriousness of what happened, Mrs. Goodman? I think so, officer. But it's all so confusing. Please, can I go and bury my brother? Sorry, but can your mother understand what I've been saying? Yes. yes. Excuse me, do you have Wi-Fi? <laughs> Fortunately, Mrs. Goodman, your son has agreed to pay the damages. Fortunately. And since the owners have decided not to press charges, you are effectively free to go. Oh, bless you, officer. I'll leave you to it, then. You mean you're not going to hang her by the neck till she's very, very dead? (laughs) This guy's like, what is wrong with this family? Blimey. (sighs) Mum, I hope you heard what the nice policeman just said. Stupid fuss about nothing. I'm sorry. So a silly cabinet falls over. Cabinets fall over the whole time. You pushed our cabinet over, didn't you? I beg your pardon? Right, that's it. I'm not going to the funeral. What, Jackie? Not until your mother apologises for... I agree. Everything. Apologises? You heard me. I'm not going. But, Jackie, they're burying the old gitty. 20 minutes? I don't care. 
Well, you're going, Martin. You have to accompany your mother. Um, I think I might have to, um, potentially, maybe, agree with my wife. What a man. Well, Yay. Cynthia, I'm waiting. You're right. I've been really... Horrible, horrible. What's the word? Horrible, horrible. Fucking horrible. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> Good job. Yes, fucking horrible. <laughs> so I'd like to apologise to you all for my behaviour today. Wow. Martin, give everyone a pound. <clears throat> Brilliant. Oh, more money. Right. We've got a funeral to go to. <sighs> as soon as I've had my hair done. What? Oh, bloody shit. Martin, you don't expect your mother to stand by a grave with half-finished hair, do you? But, Mum, if you don't like to... Sorry, officer. You don't have another room we could use for a few minutes. Nearly there. Seriously, can we just go? Oh, we're not going to get a signal. Yeah. All done. Oh, thank Christ. Happy now, Mrs Goodman. Oh, thank you, Valerie. Oh, Are yeah. you still here? Sorry, officer, we're just leaving. All right, Mum. Just a minute. I feel like I've seen him in something before. I know, before. me too. Really well, do. come on. He looks familiar. He's wearing a bloody hat. Do you see her put on a hat? Why did it shoot up? Loving kindness of the Lord is for all eternity towards those who fear. We are so late. They're still soaking. Oh, shame. Whom have I in heaven but you? And Sorry, it... Rabbi, my mother was nicked for smashing up her hairdressers. Martin. Having you, I desire... Who are these people? Earth. Don't worry. All you need to know is that's the poor sod we're dumping in the ground. Martin. My poor brother, lying in the coffin. Let's hope he doesn't try to eat his way out of it. Oh, man. Oh, oh, oh. What? He's putting in earphones in a, at a funeral. That's disrespectful. That is very disrespectful. Yeah. That is very... Even if he didn't know the person at all, like, yeah. that's disrespectful. Mm. I don't care what's going on in that fucking earphone. You do not do that. It's a angry dad right there. It is. You show some bloody respect. Is that the first time I've used bloody as a word? I think so. You guys are rubbing off on me, man. My soul. I said, <laughs> he's burst a tire. No way. I'm sorry. Uh, nothing, Rabbi. Men seek refuge under the shadow of your wings, I mean, for with you I is do, the fountain yes. of life. Before we lay Saul's still. body to rest, Saul's nephew, Martin Goodman, would like to say a few words. Bugger. Uh, I mean, of course, Rabbi. Here we go. Armageddon. This should be good. Good luck, Martin. Don't let your mother down. He will. God, where are the bloody things? Stored well. Mm. Relatives, friends, and Shalom! Jim? Oh shit! Oh god. Please, sir, he brought black balloons. Do you see that shit? He brought black balloons to a funeral. What a G. Pretty place. Yes, my liege. Shalom. Bleeding hell. I... Go on. Sorry, Rabbi. <laughs> this is one of the better gym appearances. Jim, did you follow us here? Shalom. What are you doing? Wilson and I have come to pay our respects to the corpse, the car carcass. Ah, uh, his name was Saul Jim. Saul Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry! I actually scared me. Oh, like Black balloons. Black balloons. Mr. Goodman. Yeah, right, thank you. Uh, relatives, friends, and my mother. We're here to. Mark the sad passing of Saul David Epstein. Saul Richard Epstein. Saul Richard Epstein, um, who was born way back in Epstein's 1928. Uh, 
A very special year because. Why is that? Epstein? Yeah. It's not a good last it's name. It's a notorious right now. name now. Yeah. Who, but it's not what? them. I know. There's a guy I grew up who grew up in the same neighborhood as me. Um, and his name was Jeff Sandusky. Does that name ring a bell? No. No? You don't remember Jerry Sandusky? No. Who was even worse than um, no. Epstein? When, real when real, this, uh, real Jimmy Savile. Real Jimmy Savile type character. When did this happen? Except uh, what year? Sandusky was caught. What year did this happen? Like 2010? Okay, I was Something like, like that. Somewhere around there. 13. I don't think I was paying attention to 13. the news. 13, yeah, you were a perfect age for him. Ew. Exactly. Okay, well, I wasn't paying attention to the news at 13. I was like, <laughs> Except what, you didn't... I was like, what movie am I going to, yeah. who am I going to go to the mall with on Friday night? The only thing, I think you were safe though, because you didn't have the parts you liked. Yeah. What does that mean? Oh, boys? Yeah. Oh. Did you know that was the year they erected the very first national grid pylon? We knew. What did you say? <laughs> what did you say? I thought you were calling my boobs small. What did <laughs> I say? Yes! <laughs> you were like, you don't have the parts he wants. <laughs> I thought you meant like big boobs. I was like, oh, I'm oh so Oh my smart. god, babe. Why would you think I said that? Especially when your boobs are bigger than they've ever been before. Okay, but I don't know. My brain isn't working well. And you just said you don't have the parts. And it made me think of boobs. It didn't make me think of a, a thing. A ding a -ling. A ding -a -ling, That's what we're calling yeah. it. A ding a ling a ling A ding -a -ling. Okay. But point being, yeah. my, fr my friend Jeff Sandusky. Yeah. It's not related to Jerry Sandusky. I know, I'm just in saying fact, it's not a good last name. In fact, right they're now. not even the same race. So it's... Okay. Uh, in 28. Uh, a very special year What's, because uh, of Epstein. It's all Richard Epstein. It's all Richard Epstein. Um, who was born way back in 1928. Uh, a very special year because, did you know, that was the year they erected the very first national grid pylon. We knew. Pillocks. <laughs> Sorry! Why did these keep popping? Saul David Epstein. Richard Epstein. Oh, God. Richard Epstein. Saul Richard Epstein. Suffered a long and terrible drawn out illness during which uh, he developed some pretty horrid bacteria deep inside his gut. He's doing the medical report. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> this all led to uh, a nasty infection in his <laughs> intestinal regions and subsequent rupture oh, of the God. inner lining to his anal glands. Did he just... Anal glands? And this, in turn, created an enormous build-up of, of faecal matter. Did he... Faecal matter? And, well, since the sphincter had, had all but given up, there was effectively a whole mass of solid waste leaking back into Saul's bowels. And uh, Martin... Until oh, bang! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> Saul's bowels just exploded. This poor rabbi. Only inwardly. So if there That's is awkward, one know. lesson to be learnt from Saul's life, it's that we should all take much greater care of our health, in particular, our guts She's and our anuses. Shut up. Martin. What? Yes, well, um... Amen. 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 Uh, thank you, Mr Goodman. <laughs> Much to ponder about there. Really, Martin? What are you thinking? What? Nice one, Dad. Guts and anuses. It's factually correct. I don't know, Natan. Why is it, uh... It kind of looks like... Maybe it is. Like, it's it's hard to tell with the beard. but he, he looks like Posca from, uh... Uh, Rome. HBO's Rome series. Oh, I don't know. Which is one of my favorite shows. I don't remember time. that, though. Um, for anybody who's seen Rome... Uh, rest in peace, Titus Polo, by the way. Ray Stevenson passed away like a month or two ago. But uh, Posca, the, the Greek slave to um, Julius Caesar in the show. It's been a while. But he kind of looks like him, but I can't really tell with the beard. Mm. Sorry, I'm not missing any more. Thank you, gentlemen. God, dead man in box time. <laughs> And lift. Oh, Jesus Christ! 
Hopefully it'll be lighter when your mother's in it. Slowly, slowly. Oh, God, my phone. Danny! Oh, oh it's thinking. Oh, that's you, idiot. I'm trying. Uh, What's that noise? Yeah, Turn that right. bleeding thing off. Jonathan can't reach. Uh, I don't know. iPod or whatever it is. Oh, 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 shit on it! Oh, my God! Sorry, you shitting, crapping imbeciles! You've broken the lid! <laughs> no, Wilson! Oh, oh, my God! What? No, Wilson, no meat! Fuck no off! Meat. <laughs> Fuck off, man! Oh, my God! That's so outrageous! Ah. Oh. Get that bloody dog away! Rabbi, he's ravenous! My poor, poor Why are you brother. taking him away from me? He's a well, dog, he wants me. It's what he would have wanted. Yeah. I don't know how I felt about this episode. I mean, it's it's so outrageous that I wouldn't believe something like that would happen, so... Uh, I'm cool with it, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it was definitely different. It was that different. Ep it was that different. episode, yeah. What's the next one? Something's for sale. For sale. So. Yeah. I mean, it was still pretty good. It was good. It was different, though. Yeah. At least they got an apology out of the evil grandmother. Yeah. Who likes to knock over things and blame people for them. Um... I feel like there's a crazy old lady Jim, that does that. That was one of the better episodes with Jim. Jim bringing the black balloons. Yeah. yeah. It's like, shalom. When, he saw, when I saw the black balloons, I was like, <laughs> oh my god. That was that was classic. Um, but yeah, be respect, be bloody respectful yes, at a be funeral. Respectful don't at a funeral. put in headphones. And don't make your speech about the person, their medical report. <laughs> That's all we do about them. Yeah. But I feel like even if you didn't know anyone, you could make up something. You could have been like, he was a good friend. A I good mean, unless... Brother. Some, well, I don't know. If you're completely off, then everybody who, there who actually knew the dude would be yeah. like, wait a minute. I'm sure they wouldn't say anything until afterwards. But yeah. like, well, that you definitely didn't paint a picture of that person well. Because we knew him. I don't know. But yeah, it was a pretty good episode. Um, there's been better ones. Yeah. But uh, I don't know that ending. I I I knew something. I knew they were gonna drop was gonna the happen. Yeah. I did not think the dog was gonna eat the person in the coffin. <laughs> that came out of nowhere. Uh. Well, there's two ways you can go with this. You can either go, "Wow, that's that's awful. That's terrible. I don't like that." And then people will go, what, you can't take a joke? Yeah. Or you can go, ha, that's hilarious. How the fuck can you laugh at somebody getting eaten before they go to the afterlife, I Boomer? I them all happy. So you can't, it, you're, you're damned if you do, you're damned if you yeah. don't. Yeah. So. So. What do you think I'm ready her for thought a, process should be? I'm ready for a not funeral episode. Yeah. Well, there's one more to go, so we'll get around for to that. For this season or for? For this season, season oh, four. Okay. Yeah. And I gotta get you to watch Plebs. I think you really like Plebs. Plebs? Yeah. Plebs. Plebs is, Plebs is fun. I'm really enjoying Plebs. Okay. I'll watch yeah. that with you. Okay. Well, we hope you enjoyed the reaction. Thanks, guys. And I hope we didn't say anything stupid because we said a lot. Yeah, and it's so. late. So we usually say stupid things late at night. So yeah. sorry if we didn't. Yeah. But uh, like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want. Yeah. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. You guys have Bye, a lovely guys. night. Stay safe. Bye.